This tutorial is going to demonstrate a process for creating more realistic looking graphs in your digital perspectives using Photoshop. In this case and in other exports, uh, you might find that the grass from your 3D modeling program looks like a picture of grass just on a flat surface. And that certainly looks like it in this case, which isn't great for especially the foreground of our perspective. So what we're going to do is take a photograph of grass and actually replace uh, this grass in here with that photograph. Now anytime that you're bringing in a photograph uh, into Photoshop in a perspective, it's important to have good source photography. It means you have to find high resolution images or, or potentially even take images yourself uh, to bring in. In this case, I've got a photograph of a grass lawn uh, and it's a high resolution one that was grabbed from a search engine. I'm just gonna control A, control C, and control V to paste this into my perspective. Now initially I'm just going to turn this off and use my lasso tool to kind of lasso the general area that I want this grass to be. So I'm going to just lasso roughly in here and we'll come back and refine the edge. Once I do that I'm going to turn back on the layer, make sure I have it selected. I'm going to hover over this icon here which is where we're going to add a layer mask. We'll click on that, you notice that it sort of crops right here. We still have the option to actually move the image around. If we unlink this, click back on the image, I can move the image itself without actually moving the mask that's cut out right here. And this will be helpful. We can still use uh, Control T or even click inside and use Distort Perspective to get this to feel like it matches up a little better with our perspective. I'm going to check this here uh, and zoom in so that I can refine the edge of this layer mask. Now, one of the options that you can have here is you can grab this layer mask and we're going to paint white so it begins to reveal that image uh, that we've uh, masked or hidden uh, in this perspective. I'm just going to hit B for my brush tool and in this case just choose a soft round brush and you might begin to just kind of click and softly add that back in. I don't want to be too perfect with it. I actually want to be kind of rough so that uh, we can feel the wispiness of the grass as if it's kind of overhanging uh, that sidewall. What you can also do is create a custom brush uh, to paint white on here. I'll do that here by just going to my uh, brush settings. We'll go to the tip shape and I'm going to uh, scroll down to where I select this dune grass brush right here. We'll play with the, uh, the spacing. I'm going to pull it in kind of tight here. The shape dynamics, I'll bump the jitter up to vary the height of it. We'll say flip X jitter to where it bounces back and forth and maybe change the angle jitter as well. We'll adjust the scatter, but not too much on this one. Maybe come back and turn the spacing back down to get a little more dense. We'll close the panel here and just begin to, to paint in uh, that edge with more of a, a grass type feel. I'm going to turn down the size of it as I move back and just kind of paint across. Now with any brush you can actually uh, click once, hold down shift and click again. It'll run that brush back and forth. This might be a quicker way uh, to soften up this edge and you get the impression that the grass is kind of growing up above the edge of this sidewalk. So we'll zoom back out. Again, we can click on the image and actually move it around uh, to get it just in the right location. Another helpful technique as you're bringing grass in is using the burn and dodge tools. This can actually add some highlights and also some shadows and just create some inconsistencies that help tie in your grass into the rest of your scene. So I'm going to go over to the toolbar and you'll see that the burn and dodge tool actually underneath each other. The burn is the shortcut for this is zero for actually both of these. And the dodge is going to make it lighter. Uh, the burn is actually going to make it a little darker. So I'm going to grab this burn tool. I'm going to go back to my brush settings. And I'm going to change this to where it feels like it's kind of laying flat on the ground. So this is our uh, burn tip shape. And so we'll close this. I'm going to use my brackets to make it a little larger. And what you'll notice is that as I click, it darkens up a little bit as if it is kind of burning that. And what we can do is um, darken up a little bit, maybe over on this side to kind of frame our view. And of course the dodge tool is going to work similar to this. I'm going to change the, the brush tip shape as well for this one. By clicking up here and changing the size of it, you'll notice that what it does is it actually brightens up and kind of brings back some of the highlights. 
to this. So this is one way just to add a little bit of uh, texture, almost uh, creating a, a little bit of a vignetting that focuses your eye more towards uh, the middle in here. Again, just getting back to this image, you can uh, control T, uh, right click inside, maybe grab the perspective uh, corners and begin to adjust these to where it feels like it's uh, situated a little closer to where you want it to in your perspective. Uh, those are the basic tools just for getting a more realistic grass approach uh, in your perspectives.